are privileged <laughs> to be joined alongside by the current WBA Welterweight Champion of the World, the 8th Division World Champion. Yes. A happy belated birthday, Matty. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us. Welcome back here to the United States. How good does it feel to once again be fighting on U.S. soil for the first time in about two years? It's nice to be back here in the United States. It's been a while that uh, I didn't have a fight here. And uh, nice to be back in wild card, uh, training with Freddy Roach and Bobby Fernandez. Um, excited for the fight. It just, uh, just happened that... Um, I you know, I work hard, discipline myself, and how I, I prepare to the to the fight. Um, not only training, but hard work, training. Okay, kid. Let's see uh, how you doing in the ring. to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. This is the site of a much anticipated rematch. Scheduled for 12 rounds in the welterweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Manny Pacquiao is making his way to the ring right now. Boy, he's not bashful at all, is he? Look at him, confidently making his way down for this contest. Ford's entourage has that look on their face. They know they've put the work in, and you can see how confident they are for the battle that lies ahead. Introducing first. Fighting out of General Santo City, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. His adversary, coming out of East Calico, Ford. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. Everyone knows what can take place with this guy. Pacquiao's knocked out every opponent he's faced. Will the streak continue tonight? But what his opponent wants to know is what's important. What happens when he comes out and he can't hit me? How's he gonna act then? Hits him in the mug with the right. A good, clean, old one-two by Manny Pacquiao. And now we got a fight.
waits. He fires back a right hand of his own. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. Halfway through round number one. Well off the mark by Ford. Nice strike after catching one by Ford. Good job on the two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Right to the head with that right. Good, solid right hand lands. He's jumping all over him now. Manny Pacquiao nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Wow, nice flush left hand. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Gets rid of that. It was intended for... Ford's rocked all of a sudden. Now each man has stunned the other. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters getting tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighter. Put some cold water on his head, on his neck. You know, get him ready for the next round and give him some good advice. Tell him how to way, get away from some of those shots. He's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Not getting his mark there going upstairs. Hands up. Hands up. Ford's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Halfway through round number two, Ford's given me the impression that he's not 100%. Now, we saw that he was stunned earlier, but the nonstop clinching, it really tells you where he stands. Yeah, it does because that's not his way. That has not been his makeup, his personality before. So you know something's not right right now, and his opponent is starting to understand that. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Right to the body. Unable to make an impact there by Ford. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. Scored well up top. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great custom Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those you know really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life i spent seven years with customato and they learned the nuts and bolts from a physical technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter but the psychological part to understand the pressures that a fighter is under the fears that a fighter deals with and if you don't understand that all the other things don't mean anything because you have to understand how a fighter is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. That is a sharp uppercut by Ford. I like what I see out of Manny Pacquiao right now. This is it right here. This is the way he should be defensively. You see the Pac-Man. Nice. He's got that nice tight defense. He's not letting anybody get inside there. Little head hunting with the left. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. 
A crushing two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. Manny Pacquiao is in a real tough spot now with that cut. Ford's got a way of just getting away from that punch. And that's the end of round three. Start of round number four. Pacquiao's accuracy has really carried this fight so far. He's up three rounds to zip on your scorecard. Yeah, and again, it's because of what you just touched on. He's been a sharpshooter all night long. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Jab, uppercut, both upstairs. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. And bang, and away he goes, able to land that power punch. Trying to force his way in that front door, and he got smacked with that door. Nice Look at that combination by Manny Pacquiao. Ford is stunned and stacked. Oh, and there you go. On the mark. Beautifully shot, straight punch right on the mark. Like an arrow, and not shot by Cupid. Ford's gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Very accurate two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Three! Look at that! And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? to continue this fight is over knockout Still the champ of the world. For Teddy Atlas, this is Joe Tessator saying, have yourself a great night.
time. I punch one time. Nice work, slip in the bag. One punch. Okay, okay, nice leads, kid. Great upper body, kid. Great work leading out of the way, kid. Five times. Okay, okay, that was nice leads, kid. Okay, nice work, slip in the bag. One punch. That was nice hustle, kid. Long number of times. That's it, kid. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a highly anticipated rematch in our main event. Twelve rounds in the welterweight division between Manny Pacquiao and Sugar Ray Leonard. Manny Pacquiao is on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. The excitement in the air is palpable, and the fans have good reason to be. Pacquiao's won every single one of his fights by knockout. And I think the anticipation in the air is twofold. One is, are they going to see another knockout? The other is, what happens if he hits his opponent and he's still there? Well-targeted two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Leonard's in bad shape. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know the... Sugar Ray Leonard. Wow! A sharp second punch. That back power hand just scored the knockdown. up from the knockdown but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight a headshot block well supposed to be fighting but instead he's hugging now his opponent got away from that uppercut leonard's cheek is cut and you can see it's opening up now boy that could be a factor later on what a big shot and for the second time tonight he goes down Back up, but is he back in the fight? We're gonna find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. It's good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. <sighs> Committing well now to that left hand over the top. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punch. Letters, did you see that? Oh, this is gonna be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. This fight is over. Manny 
Pacquiao's giving these fans a thriller here. A first round knockout. Fireworks barely explode in round number one. So the Pac-Man is still the world champ. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside. Hi everybody, so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas and we welcome you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. A very highly anticipated rematch in our main event. 12 rounds of welterweight action between Manny Pacquiao and Victor Ortiz. Manny Pacquiao is making his way to the ring right now. Puffing out his chest Glaring with those eyes and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. Ortiz is coming down to the ring right now. Not seeing much personality out of this ring walk. Here's where the team for this. Fighting out of General Santo City. Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Here's that person. Fighting out of Oxnard. Vicious Victor Ortiz. Okay, guys. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Pacquiao's feeling pressure. And he has to be feeling the pressure because all the talk all week has been about the knockout streak. He's won every fight by knockout. Well, there's been a little other talk, too. They've been talking about how the national anthem is usually longer than his fight. <laughs> comes in different forms. In his case tonight, early on, expect to see it offensively. This is a fighter that can get after you like a Viking. Yeah, he can, but he's gonna need those feet to go along with it. You know, he's gonna get those punches off, but he needs to get out of dodge afterwards. Ortiz has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Scores up top with a left. Ortiz is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Manny Pacquiao. Clean shot with the right. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. A shooting right hand by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Pacquiao's proving to be elusive. There's the combo to the body. Pacquiao's left, working well that time. And we come to the end of the round, and you know his trainers gotta love that because they stress, hey, go out there and be smart with what you're doing. He was very smart about when to throw and how to land it. And that's the key in the sweet science, placing your punches, as you said, making them count. 
He missed with that headshot. And now they're trading blows. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Ortiz is cut. How about that? And banging away he goes. And he goes down for the first time tonight. One, two, three, four. Ortiz's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Ortiz's nose is starting to bleed. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Ortiz's defense is now big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? The fight is over. Manny Pacquiao's opponent is scored a knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Well, Manny Pacquiao is able to defend his title and still the champ of the world. For Teddy Atlas, this is Joe Tessitore saying, have yourself a great night. Alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. So glad you're with us as we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a highly anticipated rematch in our main event. 12 rounds of welterweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training game. As a 
Sotomayor's ring walk. Something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. In the blue corner, fighting out of General Santos City, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. And he's up across the ring, hailing out of Guantanamo, Casamay. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up. This is a 12 rounder. Here's Casamayor stunned and he is hurt. Oh, a nice two punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Teddy, I think he's solid. Oh, he goes down hard. Now he's got a real problem ahead of him. Plenty of time for his opponent to jump on him. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Well, he ties up there. Pacquiao's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. How do you think Pacquiao should approach things here, Teddy, knowing that he's the shorter man? Not to get over anxious, because right away somebody's going to say, well, Pacquiao's going to look to force himself in. If you force yourself in, then the taller man can take advantage of those assets. Be patient and gradually work your way in. That's great stuff. He fires one right back. Big, big shot he just scored with. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Casamayor's now getting back up off the canvas. Able to cover up that gut. Casamayor is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence. He is damaged. Big shot there. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. That's it. The fight is over. Manny Pacquiao's got himself a knockout. A first round knockout. Wow, was that impressive. Joe Tessitore, thanks for being with us ringside.
see you! You got him! That's it. That's it. Hi everybody, I'm Good Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The site for our championship fight. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Manny Pacquiao's belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. Soto's a guy who you can see is supremely confident in his abilities. Introducing first, in the middle corner, fighting out of General Santo City, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. His adversary, from Kukuni, Soto. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch blood. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. Pacquiao is a real treat for these fans. A pure knockout artist. Every single fight of his career has ended with his hand raised and his opponent down and out. So every one of his fights is like a big shot. The right came clean. Pacquiao's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. As far as the fighter with the faster hand speed goes, going up against the high stamina, high endurance guy, what is the one thing he has to be very conscious of? Where he is, geography, that he's in the center of the ring where he can use that speed. Stay out of those corners, definitely. There it is! Oh, a good, straight shot that time. Soto's looking up at his opponent. I always tell you to draw a straight line. That was a straight line, right to the chin. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Pacquiao is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Oh! Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Soto's back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. You gotta love the offense there, putting his punches together. That's just good, solid, accurate work by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. They're not exactly getting to Soto's. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? the fight. Pacquiao's come up big here. A knockout victory in the opening stanza. He just jumped all over him early on. And he's still champion of the world. Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is able to defend his title and still the champ of the world. For Teddy Atlas, this is Joe Tessitore saying, have yourself a great night.